All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone is doing well today. Shout out to all the subscribers, as always, and thanks to anybody new locked in. I really appreciate it. I want to talk about Raymond Ford again. That was such a magnificent performance last week in a world title fight win a performance. I want to say of his lifetime, he might perform better in the future. Who knows? But I also wanted to shine a light on his coaches. You know, the title of the video is called Unsung Heroes. I know they're getting a lot of praise right now. Coach Anthony, Coach Reg who has been with him since his pro debut and it's something that really resonates with me you know because luckily enough I'm in the gym every week and I see a lot of really high level trainers and you know they're friends of mine now and they really help me out but I see the the, the decades of time that they put into their fighters the you know behind closed doors that you know finally comes out and that's why I'm just watching like Coach Reg who I've watched for a while on YSM Boxing. Shout out to those guys. Shout out to True School Sports as well. And Coach Anthony, they were doing interviews after. Very respectful, but it's so great to see, you know, the amount of hard work that goes in to, you know, developing a fighter. The relationship behind the scenes and just the, like I said, the development and the story is, you know, Coach Anthony, I'll, I'll leave the links to, um, True School's interview with Coach Anthony because he was talking a little bit about the tactics. I'll talk about that in a minute. But, you know, he was talking about when he jumped in and when he was, um, you know, given the call. Coach Reg, I think they've been friends for a while. And uh, he called Coach Anthony over the years. He's got a very, very successful YouTube channel. And I've said before, I get a lot of my information off of him if I'm, if I'm like, need refreshing or if I want to learn stuff. I watch his channel. It's great. And but it's great to see him get a world title. I, I think this was his first. I'm not I'm not totally sure. Same with Reg. I'm not 100% sure. But either way, it's a magnificent achievement. And um, you know, he was saying that after Ford, you know, had a controversial loss. Oh, sorry, controversial win to Vasquez back in what 2020, 2019, something like that. Um, you know, that's when Coach Anthony was like, right, let, let me step in because he was busy or stuff like that. He had stuff going on. I'll leave, like I said, I'll leave the interview. You can watch it yourself. I don't want to uh, put words in his mouth, but. I watched him fight Eddie Vasquez and I've seen the reaction from the crowd and me knowing Raymond personally for years. I know him since the amateurs. I said, no, nah, I'm going to step in now. I didn't want to step in when he was on his high horse. I wanted to step in when he was at his lowest point. And since then, you know, I'm not trying to toot my own horn, but since then he's had great performances since. And, you know, we don't believe in coincidences, you know what I'm yeah. saying? He jumped in then. And since then his performances have gotten better and better and better. And... Like it's just it's a remarkable uh, the importance of a good trainer that can really do to get the best out of the fighter if the fighters you know on, we're, they're on the same page and you saw that on Saturday where just the 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 the, the game plan the in game the game plan the, the the words the motivation the tactics the just all of it together. We got to punch Adam. I've watched uh, Kovalev in previous fights and I noticed that whenever people punch at him. He, he has a tendency to kind of like stop punching. He yeah. either balls up or he kind of like folds up when, like I kind of said it one around. He's kind of like a bully. He, he constantly letting him know you have to punch more. You have to punch more. And going into the championship rounds, I let him know you need to fight every second and every minute of this last three rounds. You need every minute, every second of the fight. You know, they gave Ford the best opportunity to win that fight. And Ford you know, in an absolutely magnificent performance. Make no mistake about that. From going from fighting a bigger man, fighting a powerful guy, Southpaw, tricky, Uzbek, unorthodox style. And I actually picked Komatov to win. You know, I, I thought he would be just too big, too strong, too... No, that's a common way of putting it. Just, I understood the Uzbek style. I've done a documentary on Uzbek boxing, and I know how prepared they are, and I know how rhythmical they are, and I know how good their footwork is. And I just saw a lot of you know, problems. And actually, pre-fight, I was like, Raymond Ford, if he's going to win, he's got to be in the best shape of his life. Why? Because Uzbek's come in amazing shape. And if you look at the conditioning of Raymond Ford in that 12th round, and a lot of that was his second win and the heart and the determination and the spirit and the skills. And if you know about this channel, I'm all about skills and heart. Well, boxing is really. But when those two get put together, self-belief, 
confidence and you you go with it and then the, you implement the game plan and he changed the game plan up in the middle when he started to walk a bigger man down and that was the instructions part of it from coach anthony which is just even more amazing you know the instructions were spot on and he's like you got to bully the bully um yeah if you allow him to bully you he's gonna bully you so i told ray you can't let him bully you you gotta bully him and you've got a shorter guy who you know seemingly couldn't punch as hard even though he did end up getting a knockout walking through fire getting like just walking this guy down wearing him out without wear, using as many punches I, it was it was brilliant and then the 12th round he still had enough in the tank to get him out of there and it was just a, it was just a, a great fight and an amazing performance and i know it went under the radar a little bit a little bit just because it wasn't a high profile fight but that performance will be remembered at least by me from the whole team because you know coach reg <laughs> i've watched his interviews a while shout out to ysm boxing they do some great interviews that guy i'm not sure what his name is but it's a great channel i've been sub for a while but coach reg is like a no nonsense kind of guy <laughs> you watch his interviews you can just tell he's a straight shooter and i love that and yeah, uh, like i said it's just something that resonates with me because um i just feel like you know i, I, I half understand how much time they put in i'm not saying i fully do obviously i'm not there but just from watching the trainers that i watch you know day in day out just development and just the relationship i've already spoken on this but like it's so much more than just one fight victory it's just you know i don't know when raymond ford turned pro but what five six seven years ago maybe longer you know and it's just to to, to come to fruition and they were given Oelbeck a lot of praise and a lot of respect and actually Reg, coach Red said you know he he thought he, he actually was better than they thought he was going to be um so just a magnificent fight magnificent performance everything you would want from a world title victory that's how you win a world title <laughs> to, to steal true school sports is um uh Wordage, I think he did a post-fight video and he used that and it was great to see he was in there with um, Raymond Ford post-fight. I know they were going back and forth, but I just wanted to shine a bit of a light on the training crew and look straight after the fight, Raymond Ford's calling out the 130-pound division champion. That is amazing. You know, that's, that's, look, at the end of the day, when you have performances like this and you have fighters like that that are calling out top fighters, it makes the sport better. It simply does. It just makes the sport better instantly. We get better, like the, the, the energy that Raymond, both the fighters, to be honest with you, put in, created a better spectacle and a more entertaining, better fight for us fans to watch. I mean, they got the best out of each other. And that's all we want for box, boxing fans. It's like, wow, that was because of what they were willing to do. And that's why when fighters are willing to let it hang out and sell out, I suppose, that's what I really love, you know, because that's really, really, really putting it on the line. And, you know, they're putting their lives on the line, literally. And that must have been emotionally, physically and spiritually draining, those kind of fights, you know what I mean? And devastated for Komatov because he, you know, after putting so much into it, you get knocked out at the end. It's so tough. But obviously... Massive respect to both guys, but massive respect to the training crew. That's really the point of this video because I know Coach Anthony's been getting praised on Pro Box TV. I know he's 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 you know long due his accolades because he's really developed both of them. I'm not trying to leave Reg out at all. I want to give both of them my massive respect for what it's worth. I know I've got a very small channel, but it's re it resonates with me, you know. And I, I think these coaches, a lot of them behind the scenes don't always get the credit they deserve because they're, they're a big part of it. So that's it for me. Let me know your thoughts. I'm out of here. Have a lovely weekend. It's a beautiful day in here in New York City. I hope you have a good one. See you later. Boxing. Knowledge. Knowledge.